In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the keyboard layout widget from the taskbar in Windows 11. If you're anything like me, you like your desktop clean, simple, and free from unnecessary clutter. But sometimes, little things can creep up that start to annoy us, like that ENG International icon on your taskbar. What even is that? Well, it's the language bar indicator, and while it's helpful for some, it's not something everyone needs or wants visible all the time. Today, I am going to show you step by step how to remove that ENG International icon from your taskbar. Whether you're a tech novice or a pro, this guide is going to walk you through the process with ease. Stick around because I will be covering two main methods to get rid of that pesky icon and keep your taskbar clean and minimal. So, let's dive right in. Method 1. Hide the language bar. Alright, let's start with the first method, hiding the language bar. This method is ideal for those who prefer to keep the language bar available for occasional use but don't want it cluttering their taskbar all the time. By following these steps, you'll still have access to the language bar whenever you need it, but it will no longer be a permanent fixture on your taskbar. First, to begin the process, you'll want to open the Windows settings. There are a few different ways to do this, but the quickest and most straightforward method is by pressing the Windows key plus I on your keyboard. This keyboard shortcut is a time saver, instantly taking you to the settings menu without needing to navigate through multiple clicks. Once you've opened the settings menu, you'll need to navigate to the time and language section. This section is usually located about halfway down the list of settings options. Clicking on it will open up more detailed settings related to your system's time, date, and language configurations. Within the time and language section, you'll find several options to explore. For our purposes, though, we're interested in the typing section. The typing settings cover various aspects of how your keyboard behaves and include settings for the language bar. By clicking on I typing, you'll be able to dive deeper into these settings. In the typing settings, there's an option called Advanced Keyboard Settings. This is where you can take control of how the language bar behaves on your system. Clicking on Advanced Keyboard Settings will open up a new set of options that allow for more detailed customization. Now, here's where you get to make the change that will hide the language bar. You'll see an option labeled Use the Desktop Language Bar when it's available. This setting lets the language bar float freely rather than being anchored to your taskbar. By checking this box, you're essentially telling Windows that you want the option to hide the language bar whenever it's not in use. Once you've enabled the Desktop Language Bar, a new option becomes available, Language Bar Options. Clicking on this will open a new window where you can further customize how the language bar appears, or doesn't appear, on your desktop. In this new window, you'll find several settings related to the language bar. To remove it from your taskbar, you'll want to set the language bar to hidden. Selecting the hidden option will remove the ENG International icon from your taskbar entirely. After making this selection, apply the changes, and you should notice that the icon is no longer visible leaving your taskbar clean and uncluttered. If, for some reason, you're still seeing the ENG International icon after completing these steps, don't panic. Sometimes changes don't take effect immediately, and you might need to restart your computer to fully apply the settings. If the issue persists, it could be due to other settings or applications influencing the taskbar, but this method should resolve the problem for most users. Method 2. Remove extra languages. If the first method didn't quite achieve the desired result, or if you're looking for a more permanent solution, method 2 might be the better option. This method involves removing any extra languages that you don't use. Many users find that they only need one language installed on their system, and removing the others can streamline their experience, potentially eliminating issues like the ENG International icon appearing on the taskbar. To begin, you'll need to return to the time and language settings. As we've covered earlier, opening the settings menu is easy, just press the Windows key plus I on your keyboard. Once you're in the settings menu, navigate back to the time and language section, just as we did in method 1. This time, instead of going to the typing settings, you'll want to head to language and region. This section controls which languages are installed on your system and how they're prioritized. It's the area where you can manage the different language packs on your computer. 
In the language and region settings, you'll see a list of languages currently installed on your system. Take a moment to review this list. If you spot any languages that you don't use or need, they might be contributing to the appearance of the ENG International icon on your taskbar. It's a good idea to keep your system lean by only having the necessary languages installed. Once you've identified any unnecessary languages, you can remove them. To do this, click on the language you want to remove. This action will reveal more options, including a button that says Options. Clicking on Options will take you to another screen where you can manage various aspects of the language pack. On the Options A screen, you'll see a button labeled Remove. Clicking Remove will uninstall the selected language pack from your system. This can help declutter your language settings and potentially resolve the issue with the ENG International icon on your taskbar. However, before you remove any languages, it's important to note that doing so might affect certain applications or features on your computer. For example, if you frequently work with documents or software that requires multiple languages, you'll want to be careful not to remove a language that you might need later. Always consider your specific needs and how removing a language might impact your workflow. After you've removed any unnecessary languages, the ENG International icon should disappear from your taskbar. If it doesn't vanish immediately, try restarting your computer to ensure all changes take effect. In rare cases, the problem may persist due to specific application settings or a glitch in the operating system. If that happens, you might want to explore further troubleshooting steps or contact Microsoft support for additional help. By following these two methods, you should be able to remove the ENG International icon from your taskbar and enjoy a cleaner, more organized desktop experience. Whether you chose to hide the language bar or remove extra languages altogether, these solutions are designed to give you more control over how your system looks and behaves. I hope you found this guide helpful and that it saves you from any future frustration. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more tech tips, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest tutorials. See you in the next video.